Hello. We're going to talk very quickly today about cursors. Now, generally speaking, it's a well-known fact, and you can Google it if you don't trust me, that cursors are considered to be bad practice in general within SQL world. But a lot of us end up using them because we don't really know how else to achieve the same results, and it can be tricky. So I'm going to show you a very quick and easy way to achieve the same results from a cursor without using a cursor. So as an example, we have a query right in front of us. I'm going to create a quick temporary table. I'm going to do an insert to create my select statements, and then I'm going to use a cursor to run those select statements. In this case, I'm going to set all of my databases to read only, where they're not a system database, so greater than value 4. Now, this in itself seems like a pretty simple transaction. You've got only a, a few things to go through and a rather large cursor statement at the bottom. So I'm going to run it and then I'm going to refresh my DBs to prove that it's run and I have all my databases in read only. Now if I want to do the same thing without a cursor, believe it or not it's even simpler, what I've got again is a same setup, temporary tables, creating my statements, in this case I'm going to put them back into write with a subtle difference down here. So I've got a while statement suggesting that as long as there's a record in my temporary table, I'm going to loop through it and from that I'm going to execute each line and then I'm going to delete each line as it goes. So basically I will fill up my temporary table with all the commands I want to run and then I'll execute them one after another. So with that said, I run, created my temporary table, run it each row and do a refresh and bingo, everything's back the way it was. This is a great alternative to the other possibilities of using cursors, and I strongly suggest that everyone goes out and reads up on the subject of using non-cursor related queries. Thank you for your time, and if you have any need to go through this, I'll be posting these full syntaxes up on my blog.